Hello, my name is Hemant Sharma and I am a technical engineer for Dynalog India Limited's educational product. Today, we will be talking about Dyna85, which is a low cost single board computer based on 8085 microprocessor designed specially for training and development. The purpose of this video is to give you a brief overview on Dyna85 and to show you how easy it is to operate and run the kit. To begin with, firstly, let us see what do we get when we unpack our kits. So this is a Dyna85 kit with an attractive light weight wooden enclosure which helps to keep it dust free. It comes along with a user manual to get all the necessary information regarding operation, circuit diagrams and few sample programs. We also provide a CD which comes with a demo software in order to connect with the personal computer. A set of cables which includes your 50 pin, your 26 pin and your 10 pin and your 7 pin connector for interfacing and further expansion. We also provide a switch mode power supply which comes with a rating of 5 volt plus minus 12 volt and the current rating of 1 ampere to power up the device. Now I would like to give an introduction about the system hardware to see what all things are used in order to run the kit. Let us begin with the power supply section. This is a relevant main connector where we need to connect the power supply to the connector to switch on the device. Normally, plus 5 volt is sufficient enough to power on the device, but in order to run the external peripheral device, we do require plus minus 12 volt which has been provided on the connector. Next would be our central processing unit. Dyna85 is based on Intel 8085 high performance CPU operating at 3 MHz which is generated by a crystal oscillator which you could see it out here. Let us come to the memory section. A powerful and user friendly 16 KB system monitor has been provided on 27128 ePro. We have also stored the codes and subroutines which are accessible to the user using various commands. A 6264 RAM with 3.6 volt nickel cadmium battery backup that consists of 8 kilobytes memory is provided on board for fetching and executing the codes. One extra 28 pin socket is provided for memory chip so that further expansion of RAM EPROM is possible up to a maximum of 56 kilobytes. Let us look into the hex keypad and display section. A keypad with 21 keys and 6 digit LED 7 segment display is provided for interaction with the system using 8279 controller in order to operate and visualize the data on it. For further detail regarding the functions of each key, please do refer the manual. This is our parallel I.O. interface. 46 parallel I.O. lines are provided on board with 22 lines from 8155, 24 lines from 8255 programmable peripheral interface chip. These lines are bought on the insulation displacement connector named as J2 for 8155 and J3 for 8255. Now let us come towards the Serial I.O. interface section. Serial I.O. is available through RS232 compatible port. A serial input data lines and serial output data lines are used under software control for serial operation. For example, if you want to transmit the data from kit to the PC or from the PC to the kit, you can connect it, you can transfer it using the 7 pin connector. This is our timer section. 3 channel of 8253 chip, a 16 bit timer counter. All the lines of 8253 are provided on an IDC connector named as J7 in order to use any kind of application related to timer or counter. This is our expansion slot. It's a 50 pin IDC connector where all the address, data, control and hardware interrupt lines of a processor has been synchronized to this connector for further expansion and system interface. Rest, the components which are there in this kit are your latches, your buffer and your active and passive components. As we all know, the processing speed of a microprocessor is very fast and cannot be visualized with our naked eyes. So in order to see the operation and analyze the results, we use latches as a temporary memory. There are current amplification buffer used to maintain the current rating for running the device. So this was an overview about the system hardware so as to be familiar with the kit. Now let us begin with the operation of the kit. Before we start the programming section, certain things are to be noted. First, 
Please to make sure the jumper settings on your board is as per factory settings in order to avoid any kind of error on kit. Second, memory mapping of user RAM starts from address C000 to FFFF. User could write the program anywhere between C000 to FFFF. Thirdly, get the program along with the hex code which has to be entered. Let us start with a simple experiment of adding two 8-bit numbers and store the result in some memory location. To begin with the experiment, let me power on the device by connecting SMPS to the kit. While connecting the connector, make sure that these notches are inserted into the small holes of this connector and then you need to push it down to lock the connector. Now you can switch on your device. As I switch on the kit, you could see a friend display on the 7 segment display which indicates that the kit is in working condition and can proceed ahead for further programming. First, we need to reset the kit using key RES. Set the address using set key in order to assign a address location to start the program. For example, enter C000 as a starting address and then press INR key to initialize the program counter. Now we could enter the hex code for the program. 3E is a code for your MVI A instruction and then we need to again increment it once again followed by your data which is 0 2. Again we need to increment the memory location. Then the next instruction would be your MVIB. So the opcode for MVIB would be 0 6. Again we need to increment the program memory. Then we would give the second data which would be 0 3. Again increment the memory location. Now we will sum up the two datas using the command add b and the opcode for it is 80. Again increment it. Now we will store, we'll store the result in some memory location. So for that we use instruction named sta. So the opcode for it is 32 increment. Now we need to give the address location in order to store the device. So while entering the address location of it, first your LSB has to be inserted which is your 5 0 increment and then followed by your MSB which is your C0. Again increment the memory location. And at last in order to halt the program we use the command CF which stands for RST1 which means we are giving some interrupt to the program to halt it and then increment it once again. Now we we'll reset the device. As the code has been inserted, now we need to execute the program. For execution process, press go key followed by the starting address that is C000 and then press EXEC for executing the program. Once you press this, then you get a friend displayed on 7 segment display which indicates that your program has been executed. Finally, now we need to check our results as per the program we have entered. Firstly, in order to see the results on the accumulator, press REG key followed by A. As you could see, the result for addition of two numbers is 05 on the screen. The other process to check the result stored on the address location C050 as per program, press reset to reset the kit and then followed by set key and then now enter the respective address location where you have stored the result. As I told you, first you need to insert C050 and then followed by INR key. So now you could see the results on the screen. So this was a brief demonstration on Dyna 85 kit.
So if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our factory or you can log into our website which is www.dynagogindia.com.